Miss Bobbins. Kikanis, everybody. We're going live in Greece right now. This is, we're, this is, we're reaching out to all the Greeks out there. All two million of you in the country, maybe North America, four million. Um, there's not a lot. But if you target them, they will they will respond. Yeah, they respond back already. They very respond quickly. back. <laughs> um, welcome, my guest, Cristina Mavra- Mavronas. Mavronas. That's I wanted to pronounce it right. Mavronas. <laughs> or in America, it would be Mavronas. 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 <laughs> Cristina Mavronas. Ms. Mavronas, can you move to the side, please? She's from Bay Ridge, right. which is dear to my heart. We're in Bay Ridge. We are. We Look are right now. Yeah. Us. And you're a comedian. Can you call it? You're a comedian. I'm an actor, comedian, writer. I, actor, do, comedian. I do a little bit of everything. Actor, comedian, writer. Yeah. Um, you've gotten very popular on the Instagram. I did. Which is I, where I discovered you. Look at that. Yeah. You got in my algorithm, I guess. I, I snuck in there. You snuck in the <laughs> algorithm. Like, yeah. You got in there between female tennis players. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the algorithm just knows that I like tennis and it knows that I like to look at the female body. <laughs> so it's like a lot of female tennis players and then you came up doing some skit and I was like, there you go. <laughs> so they must know I'm Greek or whatever and you snuck in. You're very funny. You're oh, so funny, that so means a- talented. Oh, shut up. Oh, that's that's very nice coming yeah, from you. Yeah, you can do a lot of voices and stuff. I do. I have. I, I you know they're they're in here, so yeah. I'm like it's it's about time to get them out. Yeah, and like play with them a little bit. Yeah, and you grew up in New York, so you were exposed to a lot of people. Yes, everything under the sun. Yeah, you got Puerto Rican friends, you got Italian friends. Yeah, I mean, I went to Greek school and then I left, and I was with all my like Arabs and Hispanic people and Asian people. I was like, I don't, I, don't, I had enough Greek. Yeah, Bay Ridge is very diverse. Loved it. You got Loved Beirut. Which is, <laughs> that's the part that's celebrated after 9-11. <laughs> Just a joke. But it's probably a little joke. A little bit. Yeah, it's probably a toast at the Yemeni Cafe. I'm, who knows? You got that part. You got down by where we are here. There's like, uh, it's, down, a little, it's a lot of Chinese. It's Chinese. It's but Growing up, it was, a, it was a lot of Italians and Greeks. I mean. The Greek part stays strong. It's right okay. around the Greek I'm ho- school. I'm holding down the fort. You yeah. left us. I left, yeah. You, you stop by every once in a while. I stop by once in a while, yeah. With a turta. With but, like a, you, but, you know, much like Greeks when they stop by the village at home, I stop go. by Bay Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> we like, never put two feet out. You keep I'm walking. like, welcome back. Come sit down. Sit down. Have a frappe. I'm like the old little lady in Bay Ridge still <laughs> welcoming you back. <laughs> Bay Ridge has a Greek uh, store. That's how you know. That's how you know Greeks are there. It has like a Greek supermarket. We now have three. There's Where you three been? Of them now. Where you been? Wow, two more popped up. Well, we had we had one, the OG one, yeah. Fifth Avenue. You know which one I'm talking about. Yeah. And then the yes. um, A for Athens opens. Oh, that's right. I knew two Not of them. Two, yeah, those okay. two. And then there's another one that opened up. It's like on Seventy Something and and Fifth. Or, nice. Yeah. yeah. Can you cook Greek? Yes. You can cook Greek. Yes. And you can speak Greek. Yes. And you are you allowed to marry non Greek? Whether they like it or not, I could. <laughs> you, you, your parents gave you, your dad gave you the okay? They were just like, please not Turkish. Yeah, there's only one. <laughs> Anything but Turkish. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. The German okay? German's fine. They're like, yeah. okay, we'll have we'll have order in our, in our yeah. household. <laughs> My mother was big against German. Even though she was a human rights lawyer, she was big against German. Okay. Because she was there when they, yeah, did, of yeah, course, when yeah. they did what they did. My, uh, I, I dated a lot of Italians growing up. My yaya would always be like, Italians, they were nice to me, but to the other people, not so much. So it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, my wife is Greek, and uh, her mother married an Italian guy, and the whole family cut her off when she married an Italian guy. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, that's come on. And Paul Verzi was another comedian. His mother is Greek, and she married a Sicilian guy, and the her mother, his grandmother, cried in the room, wailing, wailing. <laughs> Because he was Italian. But it's right. Ra- oh my. That's yeah, that's mean, wild. That's like it's like your neighbor. It's right there. It's tough. Sometimes like the Greek family, especially with the Greek daughters, I think they can be very protective. Yeah, I think because it's also like you know, immigrant parents they're here, they're holding on to a life. They ran like they didn't want to like leave. You know what I mean? So it's like our like our world is very unique. It's like holding on to the past, trying to be like Figuring out the new and the here in New York and stuff like that. It's a completely different world. But I told, I always told my parents, I was like, look, I was like, no matter who I marry, if I marry, I was like, I'm so Greek. 
that there's no way that I will lose my Greekness. They will be, it, it's going to be like a vortex for them. They're just going to be engulfed in the Greekness. So they're, you know what I mean? I was like, there's no possible way. So whoever you with end up with will be dunked in a water like the big Ab- fat, yeah. Absolutely. An adult is going in the kidding pool. 100%. Yeah, getting dunked, 100%. which is a great Just because that's just fun. Like I would want to like put one of my friends as their like godmother. God, like that's just fun to do. <laughs> yeah. Like I don't care about the religion aspect of it. I'm like, I just want to give you a Greek name. Yeah. <laughs> That was a funny scene from my big freck where you like, really when he has to go get baptized as an adult. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like the whole like the whole church is silent. <laughs> and you just see him like that. Like, <laughs> Every when they baptize my daughter, like I my pictures of my christening. It's just a ba- it's just it's just toddler abuse. <laughs> I mean, you, every picture of my christening is just me. At, like that, just crying. Like every picture is me. Ah, because the kid gets naked and they just dunk him, and the kid's just like, "What the fuck is going on?" See, it's tra- it's I'm traumatizing. Yeah, why am I in water? And the Catholics are so gentle. They just take the water and they like drizzle it. Yeah, well, that's uh, that's all a misdirect. Yeah, oh, they st- no, yeah, they start gentle. <laughs> they and then- <laughs> I walked right and into that. Things, yeah, things get a little, things get a little naughty. They're like, let's that. let's let he's scare them. Hands. Look how gentle he's in good hands. He just. You know, a little kid will put it on his head and he's fine. A little bit now, yeah. a little later. Yeah, and then when my <laughs> daughter went in, I mean, she was, if there, if any kid does not cry during a, uh, a Greek christening, he's a full-blown psychopath. He yeah. was born, you're like this one, that's a Jeffrey Dahmer Greek. <laughs> Imagine a kid just dunk and just comes up. Jeffrey. <laughs> just nothing. <laughs> just no emotion. There's no way. Just There's comes no up and be like, what's the big deal? What's going on? Just a little I'm water. ready to eat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and there's something wrong with that kid, yeah. Because every kid cries. Every kid. Yeah, every kid cries. How was Greek school? Did you respond good to it? A lot of Greeks are resistant to it. Um, were you cool with it? You grew up with Greek friends? Yeah, I mean, I went to Greek school. It was fine. Like, yeah. uh, But then I left and I like hung out outside with people. I didn't Did really you have care. friends that were not Greek while you were going to Greek school? We had a few like Albanians, one or two Russian people, people, kids in the school, you yeah. know, that learned the language and well, stuff like that. Too. Yeah. There were people <laughs> <laughs> these grown ass adults. Yeah, men. although some there's Greeks there's some Greeks watching right now that you said Albanians, so people know they're not. They're not. Except the Albanians. <laughs> Did no. you so you had that experience where you were hanging out with your friends where they were like, Let's go here and you're like, I have to go to Greek school. No, oh. everyone thinks that Gre- Greek school was regular school. Oh, yeah. So my it brother was like, went after school. My no, brother went that, to school. No, that I feel so bad for them yeah. because it was regular school. Like wake up in the morning, go. You have math, English, but then you just also learn the language there. Right. And then it was a private school, so we would wear like uniforms. And then on certain holidays, then we would go like to the church and stuff like that. Did they have a class like on how to sit in a cafeine and smoke? I like, wish yeah. they did. Yeah. I, Conspiracy like, theories 101. Like, this is how you sit like a Greek, okay? You cock out a little bit like this. And not like this, okay? It's like this. And then the foot just finds a rhythm. <laughs> the rhythm is going to get you over here. I gave Jesse Boloi. a Kobaloi and he still he still uses it. Yeah, every night. Yeah. Every night he plays yeah. with it. Yeah. I'm watching TV, yeah. yeah. Have you learned any tricks? No, no, no. I just flip it around, yeah. I'm learning the, uh, what's the other one? It's not the Koboloi, the... Um... I call them Malaka beads. He calls them Malaka beads. <laughs> I like that much better. <laughs> hey, give me my Malaka beads, please. <laughs> what's the other one you're talking about? Um, it's like, it has like, it could have like two beads on the side or four, but it's like one string. Is it Greek? Mm, yeah, and it's um, it's it's very, very Greek. Now, how Greek are you? If I went to your house, would there be like an evil eye over your bathroom? I mean, what are we talking about? Yeah, there... I have I have WC on my bathroom. I have a bust <laughs> up there. I have I have pillows for my yaya's house. Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's very, very Greek. Greek. Yeah. It is. Do you have a, like a... I have a doily, yes. <laughs> do, you have, do you have imported olive oil out of a tin can from Crete? From my land. From, from Kalamata, land? Yanni. <laughs> from Kalamata. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Greeks, they want the real deal. They want, they want the, the olive oil deal. from Greece. Listen, when I have friends that like come over or like I go to places, like I I bring, I don't, I'm like, everyone's like, let's bring a bottle of wine. And I'm like, I'm bringing real feta <laughs> or olive oil. And they're like, this is like a Christmas party. I'm like, they're going to be thankful. <laughs> and people are like, I never knew feta tasted like this. Or I never knew yeah. olive oil is supposed to be green. Yes. And I'm like, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And all these other companies, I don't know if you saw it on the Facebook, uh, all these fake companies with the fake olive oil pretending. Yeah. It's not the real deal. No. no. 
When you go to Greece and you have the olive oil and you have the figs and you have the tomatoes, it's a it different is. ball game. It's 100%. Tomatoes different. are sweet. They you taste actually good. have a taste. Yeah. The cucumber, you smell it. You smell it from the salad. Now, do Come you on. go back a month, a year? Do you have an arrangement? I don't know what you do, but <laughs> do you have a day job? Do you have an arrangement where you go, listen. I was very, very I'm Greek. It is what it is. It is what it is. This yeah. comes with the package. It's yeah. it's my religion. Yeah. <laughs> you have to accept this. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't pray five times a day, yeah. but I go to Greece for two months out of the year. That's it's just how it goes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I used to go, I was uh, very, very fortunate. I would go back every year growing up. And then like I paused and like would go other places and stuff like that. But I do go back and my parents just moved back there, so Visiting them. So he got, so your parents made the money, fixed up, fixed up the house there, yeah. retired, and went back. And went back. And they're living the freaking life. That's I beautiful. like, and you know, like, I don't know, they're, they're, my parents in general are very like young spirited. Yeah. And now seeing them there again, it's like. How old are they? What, what? My mom actually just turned 70. She's young. Yeah. And yeah. my father, bravo, should yeah. like you. Yeah, she's young. <laughs> <laughs> Christina, is he single? <laughs> uh, yeah, my father's 72, 73. Yeah, yeah, yeah they have their motor scooter. They drive around. They go everywhere. Yeah, the Greeks with the motor scooters. Yeah. It's a problem. They die a lot on those things. Y they yeah. do, but it's mostly tourists that are acting amok and don't know how to drive and right. don't realize that, like, yo, this is about this. You're on a hill. You're on a mountain. Yeah. You're about to, like, if you one sharp turn. Yeah. You go. You go goodbye. You fly. Yeah. You fly. Yeah. Um, but they, but they kind of do wear like sandals. They don't really put on proper motorcycle gear. No. You don't see them with like a helmet or Absolutely sometimes they'll not. just be a cigarette hanging out of the mouth with flip flops on. That is, yeah. yeah. And they have like the little like on their keychain they'll have the icon and that is insurance. That is the, <laughs> that's what protects them. Yeah. You know, when they pass by the church, they do their cross and they're like, I'm protected. Yeah. That's it. That's it. I did. I went to the Ionian Village. Are you familiar with the Ionian Village? It's like a camp. You go for two weeks. Did oh, you go? You didn't go. I, no. Like, wait, where? You go in Greece for two weeks. To a, it's like an Ioni. It's a lot of Greek kids go from around the country. Mm -hmm. Ionia village. You go for two weeks, and then they take you to Zakynthos. They take you to all these monasteries and stuff like that. And um, we went to a couple of mountain towns where you were like you described. You go up the hill, and it's just, it's not a road. No. It's like they just kind of carve a little bit of the mountain for like, the bus this wide. And I mean, if the guy just misses by, <laughs> I mean, you're going up on the side of this thing like a mountain goat. And if he misses just a little bit of the turn, like, I don't even know how he did it. There was times where he was just like turning the front slow. And then like, I think one of the wheels was in full air at some point as it, he was it turning. Really, yeah, I brought my girlfriends there one year it's and they crazy. were just like, what? Yeah, there's no railing. And you know what's crazy is we go and we're like, this is normal. Yeah. I'm eight years old on the bus looking off the cliff. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is fun. Look at Greece. And not real. <laughs> there's no seatbelt on the bus. <laughs> well, I remember Olympic Airlines. Do you, did you ever um, go to Olympic I never, Airlines? I remember it. I just never got to fly in it because my my uncle worked for delta so we were always delta girls well you're lucky that's probably why you're still here <laughs> <laughs> do we when i was little we used to fly olympic airlines and i mean that airline was i mean it, it was like it was like the original spirit airlines Real? okay yeah. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> you'd get on you'd see the you'd see like the pilot sitting there with like a frappe just yeah. smoking a cigarette out the front <laughs> the whole plane was just cigarette smoke there was no non-smoking section no it was all smoking section. Well, that's what greece is yeah. like when you go to the like the bus station the cadel like where it is it's like it's one side is smoking one side is not there's not it's just like it's separated by a pole yeah. <laughs> but the smoke is everywhere, it's it's everywhere. That's it. i hope yeah. that never changes oh god the body odor on those things i mean it was just that's yeah, the one yeah. yeah it was just like you know i think greeks from greece it's just kind of that was more of a natural yeah and it's a lot of older then. people older yeah people. you know yeah and the, it would always break down. I remember sitting on the as a kid, and they were like, "Eh." They would get on. They'd speak in Greek, and then they they try in English. <laughs> <laughs> they'd be like, "The wing uh, fell off. The wing. We have no wing. Uh, it would be twenty four hours." I'm like, "What? We I have Costa on the side <laughs> with some duct tape. We're fixing it. Two Isn't by four. We're fixing it." <laughs> and you just sit with no air conditioning for like twelve hours, and you'd see a guy with duct tape just put the wing <laughs> up. <laughs> 
it went out of business, place. but it was a, it was a legendary airline. Everyone spoke about it. Um, so that's how I flew to Greece originally. I think they're gonna bring it back, but like better, but better, but better. They'll bring it back better. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully they'll bring it back. Olympic yeah. Airlines, but better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's just <your> it. <laughs> that Olympic Airlines, but better. But better. <laughs> <laughs> they could try to bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, because I don't. There is no Greek airline now. We should speak to them. Let's talk to them about Let's it. Let's call them up. Let's call them. Let's call Come them on. up. Greece just uh, passed. Um, that's very good because yes. we invented it. It's inv like what the hell? This is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Greeks, like, do you see the pottery? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take a peek. Hey, take a peek at the pottery. <laughs> yeah, just. I mean, have you have you heard of uh, what was it? Les the, Lesbos Island. Yeah, the sacred band of Thebes. Yeah. Did you know about them? No, wait, what? They were an elite fighting force of a couple hundred. What was it like a hundred or something? Spartan gay lovers, and they were elite. And the whole thought was like they were in love and like so they would get each other's back over anything. Sacred Band of Thieves. That is the most beautiful it's also very Greek. story ever. It's gorgeous. It's as Greek as it gets. This needs to be a film. <laughs> yeah, they should make it a film. That is beautiful. Has nobody made a film of the Sacred Band of That would be perfect. Yorgos Lanthimos. The... <laughs> <laughs> Let's make the film. <laughs> it would be great. It'd have a little gay and a little I, it's masculinity. Yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah. Greek backdrop. Yeah, what was going on back then? What was going on? Like, you know, are we all gay and we're just hiding it? Because back then it was like totally like open. But I not really, so, not like it wasn't, yeah, it wasn't like open, open. Girls, were girls hooking up? Well, the first documented uh, gay person was a woman. Lesbos? A les yeah, and that's yeah. why Lesbos is Lesbos. Yeah. You're all welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Once again, the Greek people have to come to the rescue. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you didn't know, l lesbian the word comes from the island Lesbos. Yeah. As, as you, a lot of you know, we gay, we made it pot. It was going on, but we made it like a thing. We made it a thing. We made it a thing. So, yeah. There and should the, be Greek flags at the gay parade. They should, but finally parade. it's been passed. Now gay marriage is finally. Passed I think that's Greece. so beautiful. I'm yeah. just like, bro, like no one's hurting it. Like just the people. Like, Get you know, married. What was the holdup? Is the Greek culture like a little machismo over there? Like they're a little, are they like getting with it? It's religion. Yeah. You know, but it's like, I think that's so silly. I don't Should know. we have stick, stuck with Zeus? I think so. Yeah. You oh, you want to know something though, not for nothing? Yeah. There are people that really ask me, they're like, so you pray to Zeus, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, Athena. <laughs> Fuck Zeus, patriarchy now. <laughs> That was a good time though, because you had your options though. You like, had your you options. Had options. You're like, I'm in a Hades mood. I'm in a yeah. I'm gonna Poseidon bring fruit to Hades. I'm gonna bring yeah. the the pomegranate to Hades and be like, yo, yeah, make this right. Plus, it's like tough to think that maybe like one god is covering all that. Like he has to delegate a little bit. Like once you grow into a big company, like as a startup, I could see maybe it's just God. Maybe just God. But now he's like, I'm tired. Yeah, like maybe I want to retire. He started Earth like in his like maybe like uh, Apple in his in his garage. In his garage with 100%. one guy, and then after that, he's just like, look, we're big now, and so I need to. We gotta expand. I need okay. more gods. I need somebody to watch the ocean, Poseidon. <laughs> I need somebody to watch beauty. I need somebody to watch wine. It makes sense. It does make sense. I I think this is accurate. I think this is true, and yeah. this is what's happening. Actually, yeah. it's probably where the Greeks started going downhill. We let the <laughs> Romans conquer us because we, because didn't we turn Christian first? That's probably the problem. No, well, yeah. no, no, no. Constantine, right? We they were t we did not bend the knee, right? And we were like, no, thank you. I mean, Christianity. We, I mean, now we're going to get to religion. Orthodox Catholicism comes from Christianity. Yeah. It's like one guy was like, "Yo, it's the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit," and then someone else was like, "And the Pope and the priest," and they were like, "Nah," <laughs> and then they split up. Yeah, but when Constantine and all of that, like you know, at the at the church, and they were like, "Bend the knee, we'll help you out if you if you turn if you become Catholic." Yeah, they were we, like, "No, we don't. yeah." Greeks and don't. that's that's why mom was like, "Fucking bullshit." Maybe we should have bent the knee and have been Catholics. <laughs> and we, well, she, it's a really big pain in her heart. Like so why? many people, so many people died and land. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but I'm We've, just like Greeks. If Greeks like to fight with each other. We did have the civil war. The civil war. We did um, that whole communist thing. There was communists and people against it, and then they fought. I feel like Greece is just we. We are very like emotional, emotional, but not like we have our beliefs and like especially in Athens, like there's always an unrest there, and but in a good way where it's not like it's like 
prove your point. Right. Anarchy. Right. We won't bend the knee. We won't like, you know, and it's it's kind of poetic and it's, I like it. I'm like, like, don't, it. I kind of do. You like a little destruction here. I and like there. a little keeps destruction. Every, keeps the power structure on us. 100%. Yeah. I'm like, you know, but. Greeks, it, but yeah, if you look back, like we didn't have an empire because the city states were fighting. Yeah. And we, we were yeah. enslaved for 400 years and then it opens up too. and it's like, yeah. what do we do? You know what I mean? Like how many times I've heard people be like the Greek economy and the Greek this. And I'm like. We just got you, free. We just got, yeah. Yeah, we just got you know, free. We don't yeah. know our love from our right. We're trying to figure it out. Yeah. Like, can you give us a second? We gave you fucking democracy. Can you relax? Yeah, just, I mean, can they should you? pay us just, there should be a payment for that. There should be like a residual. Absolutely. Like a movie, the original. Yeah, yeah like it's everyone is making a version. There should be a copyright. I think we're on to something here. Really? Uh, Olympic Airlines, but better. Residuals. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and the movie. Yeah, and the Olympic Games, there should be a residual paid every single time. Every time they do the Olympics, there should 100%. be paid. 100%. This should is get how. Money. Yeah. Mitsotakis, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it, really should, it really should. Or it should okay. take place in Greece every year. I think they're talking about that, actually. Yeah, they should. Yeah. I mean, they built that whole stadium. They put the they whole... They should just do it. It's, it's good. It's also like, I don't know, I, bringing the Olympics to like... A different country every time it's like it's a hot mess yeah. it is not the best athens is great now it's freaking beautiful i was just there during the winter time my brother goes he says it's incredible uh incredibly underrated yeah my mother we had a we had a house we had an apartment we just sold it my mother bought it it was in kolonaki i love kolonaki, kolonaki. and then kolonaki was always good but then it got really it exploded right yeah it's a nice area i was looking at apartments there are you gonna move back too well, I have, I mean, I'm dual citizen and I'm just trying to create both like a world here with an acting and film and yeah. over there as well and just yeah. create both worlds. Because you can do both. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm currently writing a short film right now, my second one. I would like to film it there, but I'm like, all right, it is what it is. Let me like kind of do it here. It's easier. So what's your back? Um, you got the podcast now with Gus, who's a very funny Greek yes, comedian. Yes. Welcome to the neighborhood. He's he's amazing. It, it, a lot of people were like, oh, podcast. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with him, it just made sense. He's such a funny guy. He's such a likable guy. He is. Yeah. He's, he's all right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never met him, actually. We he's have friends really in funny. common, but we've never. We all need to have a Bay Ridge night. Yeah, we're going to have a oh, We got to go to Salty night. Dog. Yeah. If I, yeah, I love, I love the Salty Dog. I used, to, I, I used to go watch Giant Games. I love the Salty Dog. I love, I love it's it. It's airy. Too. It's nice. Yeah, the, it's spacious, you know? you know? Spacious. The TVs. It's great. Yeah. It is. So you were an actress and you started putting sketches online? Yeah. Um, and you had one just explode and you were like, I'm good at this. Yeah, I think it was just like, you know, it was a pandemic and then the strike and all of this stuff. And especially during the pandemic, I was like, I don't want to just be like going on auditions and waiting. And I'm always with like these ideas. And I was like, I started writing a series, Bay Ridge series. Yeah. Um, and I then there was like a little uh, piece in there that I was like, oh, okay, this can be uh instagram worthy and i and i did it with a fellow creator and it blew up and i was like oh like i was like oh this is stupid it's not funny and i was just like all right let me have fun let me just use this to get my ideas out and make my friends laugh and create and then i started learning like editing and i was really like falling in love with it and i worked in production too oh. so i started to understand like even everything on a deeper level so now i still audition and i have a new manager and very nice. All that. Are you getting yeah. recognized in Bay I bet you are. I am. Yes. yes. That's uh, gotta be nice when you just. It is. I'm not gonna like you know like it is really it's it's cool. Yeah, it is. that must be nice. Yeah. When you're sitting, what's your Greek restaurant of preference here? Because there's a few. Where's your loyalty? My loyalty. Yeah. Oh which my God. which Greek restaurant is your favorite? We don't have a lot of Greek restaurants in Bay Ridge. We Beirage. got a few. Something Greek. Something Greek. We I, have the I, Athena Cafe. We got um, Blue Door. Blue Door. Blue Door's nice. She's I used to work great. there for a little bit. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was a Blue Door girl. Yeah. For a hot second. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like Blue Door. And then the old one I used to go to that is owned by Blue Door. My parents used to go. Yeah. Yeah, which was is has it's very been nice. good for a long time. I like time. going there with my father for it's like a, a nice a nice wine and we get like a little snack. Yeah. And we talk about philosophy. Yeah. Yeah, that's very that's Greek. Yeah. yeah. So you like them all. That's the best way to do it. I, act, I really do. Yeah. I have the same. I have a <laughs> 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 have you ever had the, the blue sangria at Blue Door? I have not. Yeah. I have not. Maybe okay, we'll do a blue we'll do a, a blue sangria at Blue Door. I'd love that. We'll yeah, go yeah. we'll go for wings at Kettle. Kettle, kettle's got good wings. Kettle's got good wings. Yeah. I don't care the what anybody says. The food Ridge is top notch. It's really delicious. No Nose is my favorite pizza. No Nose is good pizza. Yeah, No Nose. What's your favorite pizza? Ah, pizza. Uh, pizza wagon. Pizza wagon's care. good. Good slice. It's good slice. They know me since I was a kid. Yeah. It's always crispy. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Christy. <laughs> so what kind of kid were you growing up? Were you a troublemaker? You got a little trouble in you. You got a cigarette smoke, a little trouble. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. I was actually. You'll was hit like, a guy. I yes. Yes, you got that vibe that you'll hit a guy. I, I've gotten yeah, jumped by a guy. Yeah, you'll uh, hit a guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I decked him in the face. <laughs> um. Well, no, he like attacks my boyfriend. What am I gonna do there? Oh, sit. you 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 fought for your boyfriend. Dead ass. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Sit there watching him, and they were they were fighting dirty. They were like pulling uh, his jacket over his head. Yeah. And I was like, I'm not gonna do this, and I tried to stop. Did your boyfriend fight or just you? He he was fighting, but they it was two against one, and the poor guy he did not do well. So you um you. You so I jumped in the middle. Busy. Did they hit you? Yeah, he hit me in the face, and I Fuck. lost. And I lost my contact. And I was like, "You motherfucker!" Say hello to my little friend. I was like, "All oh, ape shit!" And I jumped on his back. Were they Greek guys jumping? No, no, no. And I started hitting the back of his head. And we were outside of a car service, and um, man, fucking Habibis pulled through. They were praying. They saw it. They stopped. They came because they're seeing a, a lady like fighting a guy, and they were like, "Yo, what, what the hell are you doing?" And then he started fighting the Arab guy, and the Arab guy was like, "Wrong to me!" And I was like, "No!" <laughs> yeah. I was like, "Lava!" <laughs> Did you fight a lot growing up with girls? No, I girls didn't fuck with you. I one or two I had like yeah. one or two scenarios where someone like came to like, you know, like bullshit talk. Like Was I'd, it always over a guy or just more like fuck you, bitch? Yeah, it was like we saw you giving us a dirty lock and I was like, I wasn't looking at you. <laughs> and everyone thought I was Puerto Rican growing up because I had like a Brooklyn belt and hoop and earrings at, you, and I yeah. and I'm loud. Yeah, and Greeks could Greeks and Puerto Ricans look a can you know Yeah, and my name is like dark. Mavronas. Like yeah. it sounds a little Spanish y, you know? Yeah. And you, had Spanish, you had Puerto Rican friends or anything? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, one of my best friends, half Greek, half Puerto Rican. Whoa. I was, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was, I was like going you to- love my comedy. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> we were perfect. always growing up yeah. in um, uh, Sunset. I was always there. Oh, uh, yeah. 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 It was Bay Ridge, Sunset. Sunset. Right on the border where Greeks and Puerto Ricans would come to meet. Right, yeah. right, right under the BQE. Right yeah, yeah. there, right under the belt. Right Sounds there. Sounds like a musical. Yeah, it, that's where they would have to- It's Puerto Rico. Yeah, I mean, Sunset. <laughs> Puerto Rican are in the Lower East Side. Well, traditionally, they were in the Lower East when we were growing up. It was Lower East Side, Sunset. That was, and Washington Heights. Yeah. Probably the three most, the you know, per the capita. The yeah. 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 Sunset was a lot of per yeah. The Bronx. Doing the Bronx. Bronx, too. Yeah. The Bronx, too. Yeah. Bronx, but, um, Washington Heights. They're everywhere, like Greeks. They're, well, there's not a lot of us. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's not a lot no. of us. Well, there's not. I mean, it, you know, if, if there were, I'd be on Aziz Ansari. <laughs> there's just, there's not, and they like to come. Every show is through the church. And, and thank God I met my wife that way. I did a church show in Long Island. You met her in the church. I met her in the church. In the church, yeah. What, like a good Greek boy. Like a good Greek boy. <laughs> we met in the church. What? In the uh, church? <laughs> yeah, I did it. It was um, in Long Island. So I did it, and I didn't want to do it. Um, I did a few of them, and then I just I don't do that because it's like they do it through the church, and the priest is there, and then little kids, and and you and you gotta be mindful, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like oh. it's a lot, yeah, yeah. So, um, but there's not a lot. There's not, not a lot of Greeks. We gotta start. There's like fucking. two million in the country. How many Greeks are in America? <laughs> if you put it compared to Italians, like. It's great. Like I don't know the numbers. A, yeah, there's, it's very low. But that's yeah, it's we very think low. It's a lot because when you go to Chicago, you're like, whoa, everyone's great. But it's just like Chicago. It's because it's in a New pocket. York. Yeah, it's a pocket. And you go to the pocket. And they're loud and they're throwing napkins. Exactly. And shit. Yeah. Yeah. Now, did you experience? There's three million Greeks in America. That's it. In the whole fucking country. That's it. Yeah, there's not a lot. And how many Italians? Just for uh, just for context, how many Italians in America? Google this. Now, did you tell your friends that like Greeks are the original like make it rain throw money? We we started that. We really did. We did start. We that. really did. Yeah. We're pay, we're paying the restaurant. That's rest just on for the... context. There's 17. Point, there's oh. 18 million Italians. Well, no wonder I dated only Italian guys. They said you just oh, no. yeah. There's just too many Italian. Well, Bay Ridge probably had a lot to do Bay, with that Bay as well. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I actually didn't date in Bay Ridge. You didn't. I only dated one guy from Bay Ridge. Where I did you outsource what's for? <laughs> <laughs> um where you what what other name it was like sunset yeah. a city i love how brooklyn you are so huh. brooklyn yeah i love it i fucking love it this is i feel like i'm back in high school this like, is actually my accent yeah. <laughs> this, is like, this is my girl frank christina she's she, she's from morrow she goes to morrow you know, <laughs> <Morrow. laughs> i get from, flashbacks right? yeah, i get flashbacks <laughs> morrow midwood <laughs> fucking yeah. James Man, Madison. I went. I went to Leon Goldstein High School for the Math and Sciences. 
What's that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> is that Jewish school? <laughs> it was founded by uh, Kingsborough College. So it was in... Um, um, is that Brighton Beach? Yes, thank you. Wow, so you're very... Manhattan Beach. Manhattan, right, yeah. Manhattan Beach. Nice yeah. over there. I like Manhattan Beach. It is, Beach. Yeah. yeah. So it was always like growing up there and then like I would like like the boys from like Fort Hamilton High School or like Midwood. And I was like, yeah. you know, as a basketball coach, I was like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's up? <laughs> Did you ever um, make it as far as Park Slope? Yeah. yeah. But like, growing up, yeah, I would, I would I would bounce around. I would have like my my moments, like my years yeah. of like where I'm going where. Yeah. And then I get tired of it and I'm like, okay, next thing. Now you're in your 20s. You look in your 20s. No. No? I'm 42. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You look fucking fantastic. No kids and no Morgans. <laughs> so you're a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 34. 34. Okay, that's young. It's very young. Yeah. So I'm trying to think like what era you grew up in. So that would be. I also I had like two older sisters too. So I was. You grew up in a good era. Yeah, I, I was right there. Are you a millennial Gen Z? No, I'm millennial. Millennial. Yeah, I'm yeah. right there where it's like dial up. Yeah. You know. You had two older sisters. Yeah. Yeah. Did you guys ever go as a pack and fight girls? I would have my sisters pull up. Yeah. At some point when they when they heard some shit went down, yeah. like off the block, it was the whole Greek crew. We were having it was a Greek barbecue, <laughs> and the girls came after me. It was my friends from high school that were there, and my um. My my Russian friend ran home with his little Russian accent. He's like, "Your sister's getting into a fight," <laughs> and everyone's like, "What?" And like all the Greek people are like, "These motherfuckers!" And everyone's le like running out. Oh my god! Did uh, your dad put the lamb on the spit outside? One hundred percent. One hundred percent. The neighbors think you were slow, eating, killing a dog. One hundred percent. One hundred. No, they they know. Oh my god! Yeah. The drama. I would wake up and it would just be hanging upside down there. <laughs> Uh, the teeth out, the eyes. It funny. really does look funny with the melted face and just the teeth. Yeah. And all all the the guys that I would date, I would be like, you you have like you know my, my yiritsa, right? Yes. Yes. I so, love it. Yeah. So that is before um, Easter, like when we're still during like Lent for everybody who doesn't know. Yeah, and yeah. it's like you take the intestines and you clean them, and then you make a soup. Yeah. And the whole house, my father would be there cleaning them with a with a with a rod. Oh, wow. Yeah. And the whole house would smell like it. And me and my, my sisters would leave because we'd be like, our hair, our hair. <laughs> it really does and, have a fuck to yeah. it. Yeah. And then the, the boyfriends would come over and I would be like, you, you have to eat it. Yeah. Or it's like mad. <laughs> well, you shouldn't, what you should have done is not tell them what it is. No. Yeah. No, I would tell them. Oh, I want, I want to see them like, squirm and yeah. see if they would do it. And I'm like, <laughs> this is lamb intestines. Every non-Greek friend I've had who ate it, I didn't tell them what it was. I was like, it's lamb. I just said it's <laughs> lamb. I didn't tell them what part of the lamb it was. Does it taste good? Oh, it's delicious. Really? And cocoretti is delicious. It actually is. Like yeah. if you dip the bread in oh, and the soup. delicious. That's nice. It's yeah. like a. You'd have no problem with it. Yeah, yeah. I'd eat that. It's just intestines and the cocoretti. When it's nice and charred, the cocoretti, when it's like really yep. cooked well, yeah. it's good. You got to give it a shot, everybody. Yeah, it's guts and intestines. It's mm, great. Yeah. Do, you, do, you, do you do like big yeah. Easter? Yeah, I grew yeah. up okay. very Greek. Yeah. I grew up, I was an altar boy. I went to the Ioni Village. Uh, I mean, yeah, the Ioni Village. I, uh, I I resisted Greek school. Okay. I was the youngest. My parents kind of gave up. But I'm the only one in my entire family. And I know mm. this is a tragedy to a lot of Greeks when they hear it. That's not fluent in Greek. I spoke it more when I was little and then I forgot it. And then I think they just gave up because yeah, I mean. my, both my brothers, my cousin, I'm, the old, I'm literally the only one in my family who's not fluent. Okay, well, today is the first day of Greek 101 <laughs> <laughs> with your new teacher here. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to learn the language, Yanis. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a big problem. I wish I knew it. Well, I think because that's the thing, you did like regular school. Regular. And then Greek regular a regular regular school. a regular regular <laughs> salad school, <laughs> and then you went to Greek school, and I think that's the issue. Is like so you, you don't want to do more. Yeah, because my brother my brother went to the one on Fourth Avenue. You know that one. What's the one on Fourth Avenue over here? Did it's, you care? It's in Sunset. It's like in between Park Slope and Sunset. It's on it's on Third Avenue. I'm sorry. Wait, no, is it on Fourth Avenue? There's a Greek huh. school there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's in Oldwood. It's been around. There's a church there. What's the name? Do you know? Uh, can you look it up? Yeah, like people live around the country care. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking most what? Brooklyn episode. This is the most Greek Brooklyn episode ever. You're welcome, world. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so he did. He had to go to that one. And after they school. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I I think if if you just went to regular private Greek school. Yeah. Yeah. Fantas. Oh, I went. I went to a Fantas. Yeah. Fantas. Okay. Yeah. It's downtown. On, it's on Fourth Avenue, right? 
It's it's downtown Brooklyn. No, then that's not it. No. Okay, we can, may have to speed this up. <laughs> I mean, like, or, or cut it. It's on 4th Avenue. It's right, or 5th Avenue. 5th Avenue. Is that it? Which one? This one? Yeah. Hellenic Classical Charter School, Park Slope? Yeah, check that out. Is that it? I don't know. It didn't used to be that. This kid doesn't look Greek to me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but he it, learned it, the Greek it, language. I think it's changed. It's, it wasn't a charter school, but um, where is it? Park Slope. Yeah, so that's the one. Okay. But it's like on the outskirts, closer to Sunset. It's like on 16th or 17th or 18th I or 19th. Not, I don't remember it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's where he went. Wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you if you went to a Greek school and there was language in that, I think. I Did think you go to been. Sunday school? No, I you was didn't go free. To Sunday school? I was free. You didn't go to church. I went. Okay. That's why you got into fights. Because <laughs> I was not a good Greek girl. No, we went to church, but like my parents weren't like, you have to go to church every Sunday. Like oh. we went for holidays. I went to a Greek school that took us at times. So it's like, I paid my dues, y'all. I'm you, free on the weekend. Did, okay, did you go to- I wore I wore uniform, okay? Yeah, so you were a Greek school. Girl. I was in Greek school, yeah. okay? Do Greek school I got girls, my hair pulled in Greek school. Do you guys roll them like Catholic oh, school girls? Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I you? just thought they were short. Growing up, Catholic no. school, but now they're usually like. But they weren't as there. strict like in Catholic school like that, you know. Yeah. Like I just had a few off the boat teachers that like Gave reprimanded. Me. Yeah, yeah, and I never told my mom because I was like, I grew up hearing her horror stories. Yeah. So I was like, oh, that's how it is. And then like years later, I told my mom, and she's like, I would have come there and beat the shit out of her. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you go for Easter and everything though? You go to church for Easter? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I, do you I take like the it. flame home? Do you I bring go the as, flame long, home. as long as you can go? As long as I can go, I, I bring it. Have you ever set anyone's hair on fire by accident as you were exiting <laughs> to do Christos and Nasty? Yeah. No, I'm I'm a pro. I yeah. know how to bring it in, okay? Um, I am not like just like, you know, do do all over the place. Just yeah, you like, got to be very careful with that. A, you gotta, so everyone has fire. Yeah. yeah. It's fucking, you and should we're have all a license. trusted to like, File out. I've seen. There's always once in a while you smell something, and it's hair. It's somebody's it's hair. Somebody's hair. Yeah, my brother sets a woman's hair on fire. I'm more afraid of my eyebrows. Yeah, that too. Than yeah. anything. Like you see these? Yeah. I groom them every morning. <laughs> well, I, I could just got donate these them. I told you. I did. They, they, <laughs> when you're a Greek, I mean, it's like you have to maintain the eyebrows. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Do you think they repeat Christos and Nasty so many times because so many Greek women have Alzheimer's, so they just want to make sure that they heard it? For <laughs> I think it was the men that have more Alzheimer's. Also the men. You know? It's a big Greek thing. It's a big, it is. We what use, is that? Because we have so much anxiety and we think so much, I think we just wear out the brain too We early. wear it out, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, I think science needs to call you. Yeah. <laughs> Are your parents anxious and worried a lot or no? Um, Not really. Yeah. I think It doesn't I, seem like it. No, yeah. my, my, my mom, man, I'll be like, so you don't care? She'll be like, okay. She's calm. Tomorrow's a new day. Yeah, now yeah. in her old age, a little bit like, you know, anxiety and stuff like that. Does your father ever hit one of the... One of the my father is more of the, like, going back and forth and, like, trying to figure it out. And my mom's like, just relax. relax. Now, what? why do Greek waiters go when you order? They go, wait, wait. What's that? This is a... Uh, uh, Malista. Got it. It's like Mali. Oh, yeah. Got it, got it. Yeah. It's like a... Yeah. Yeah. I got it, yeah. It's check. Yeah. It's how we check. It's yeah. how we mental and check. And order the mothers. But you know, something, something you like? Yeah. <laughs> you know? You see a girl you like... Yeah. <laughs> so you're you're Greek, but you're mm. not like very, very. You don't have to marry a Greek. You could come home with a black guy, and your dad's fine. <laughs> That's not a yes. Silence. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, I think anyone that I bring home, yeah, they'll be okay. They'll be okay. They'll be a little slighted. Like, Yanni, the basketball not... player, has opened up a lot of minds. <laughs> I think he did. Good, good job. Good job. He really. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I've always respected Greeks because. I felt like they were prejudiced against everyone, which I felt put it, us off the hook. It has nothing to. It's yeah. it's just like they you just are not Greek. Greek. Yeah. We we fled. We still have trauma from the Ottoman Empire and the Turks. Still trying to get our freaking islands. Like we want Greek blood. Yeah. There is so much Greek. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the horror stories. So that's what it's around. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. My mom would be like, oh, okay, good Irish boy. Not for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It no. just want to make, they want to maintain. They want to the maintain. It's and then changing I, though a little bit. I think it it's is. Changing. It is. Because you got to let some new genes in or else like the baby's just born a block of feta cheese and you can't have that. I because mean, because we I'm can't not a, keep inbreeding. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> you can't, especially we're from islands. Like it's like, you know. 
I see, uh, yeah. Look I how mean, close my eyes are. I mean, I can't. <laughs> that's why I had to get a little Italian in there, or else my baby was going to be born a cyclops with one eye. <laughs> And with the eyebrow as well. Yeah, like just like one eye. It eyebrow just kept growing. And one eye. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. So it's like, you know, thank God she's half oh Italian. Oh, my God. You know? And like they, they just started letting the Italians in. I'm telling you, it was both my friend and my wife is serious trauma trying to that, marry an Italian never, guy. I've never heard that. I've oh, always okay. been like, it's been very welcoming, like una fazza, una razza, like yeah. we're, we're cousins, we're like fine. Well, the Greeks don't forget, and they did invade us in World War II, so they're always, and Aki Day, I don't know if you do this, but I'm giving, you, you should, I, I'm telling you, you should do it. What? Is every Aki Day, you should just call your Italian friends and just tell them, f go fuck themselves. Oh yeah, it's yeah. every time, every, every yeah. Italian I speak to, I'm like, no! Yeah. <laughs> just, I just go, hey, I'll, I'll just text them and be like, hey, what's up, man? I just want to tell you to go fuck yourself. And they're, <laughs> and they're always like, what? And I'm just like, I'm sorry, dude, it's not personal, it's Aki Day. It's Aki Day. Yeah, it's Aki Day. It. I just curse out every single one of them. I do it I, every I'm surprised year. that they haven't learned to just like not pick up the phone then on that day. They never remember. They, they should that, mark it yeah, on their calendars. They not very smart, it. the yeah. Italian people. Eh? <laughs> and I tell my wife she's half Italian, so I tell her to tell herself to go fuck herself. But like, but you say from the Greek side. Yeah, you're like yeah. So softer. Look in the mirror and say, half, half. "Go fuck yourself." <laughs> you know what you did? Yeah, because they attacked us, and that's not cool. Yeah, that's not okay. And Greeks hold grudges, and we never bend the fucking knee. No. And when we kicked the Ottomans out, we kicked them all out. We kicked them all out. There was, there was, that was ugly. And if you step to Christina, her and her sisters will fucking whoop that ass. Come out. So, <laughs> <laughs> so go follow you. Yes. Yeah. Where can they find you on the Instagram? Um, it's my government name, at Christina Mavronas. Do they have to pronounce it that way? Uh, yeah, so you can't find it. You can't find it. If you, if you, as you're typing it into Instagram, if Mavronas. you're not like Christina Mavronas. Christina no. Mavronas. Yeah. Don't do Christina Mavronas. Ma Mavronas. <laughs> Mavronas. It, it won't come up. Yeah. yeah. But it's there on Instagram, YouTube, um, the, the TikTok. The TikTok. Yeah. Very nice. And then, and yeah, and then there's our podcast, Welcome to the Neighborhood. Which I hope to have you on there one day. I'm gonna, yeah. yeah. I was supposed to be on it, but I got snowed but in. But you said I, fuck you. I said fuck you. He was a little bitch because of the snow, and he's like, I'm upstate now. I can't get down there. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, it's so cold out. I'm snowed in. I can't. I'm, snowed in. I'm, I'm sorry. a little snow bunny. There's snow on the ground. I can't. <laughs> you know, it snows different up there. Than I know. I it's, it's, a he it's a hefty snow. It's a hefty snow. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hefty snow. Yeah. I will be on. Yes, I, I look forward to it. I look Absolutely. forward to meeting Gus. I've never yeah, met yeah. him. Yeah, that's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah, he's a he's a fun. You could come too. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Can I bring you... my whole family? Can I bring yeah. my kids? <laughs> <laughs> They're running around. Just show up with my kids. Yeah. Um, so check her out. Thank you for doing this. It was a, this was fun? This, this was, was a lot I had of fun. fun. I knew nice. it would be, and it's nice to meet you. Likewise. Yeah. Oh. Go Greek. Stay Greek. Go Greek people. Want to give a shout out as always to ExclusiveAutoShipping.com. If you're moving your car out of state. Or if you bought your car out of state, hit up Jared. You'll get a free uh, quote and also their student and military discounts. That apply. ExclusiveAutoShipping.com. How you like them apples? Chris Minetti, our guy, my guy, has a phone. It's 215-750-3730. If you're a loyal listener, you've memorized that number. Give him a call. Say hello. Ask him how his hoogie is. Go and see him or call him and get your business check cash in the Philly, South Jersey area with Chris Minetti. The Giannis Pappas Hour. Been supporting local criminals since the beginning. <laughs> For the free dot art. Music in Hawaii. How do you like them apples? Credit card still on. Um, Nate Linder. Nate Linder, guys. Nate Linder is crushing it, and he will crush it for you. I want you to go to his Instagram right now, Nate underscore Linder, and check out his awesome marketing content. I mean, it is so engaging. You want Nate to help you rank number one on Google and drive business leads? Well, then hit him up on his Instagram. He's been crushing it with construction companies right now. Think marketing? Think Nate Linder. Displaypros.net. These guys will build your custom trade show booth, retail fixtures and promotional items. They'll do it all for you. 10% off if you mention my name. Displaypros.net. Great customer service. MAinsuranceservices.com. Uh, Matthew Albani, our boy in St. Petersburg, offers a wide range of commercial insurance policies, including workers' compensation, commercial property, auto, professional liability, general liability, and umbrellas. Hit them up. 
support local independent local independent uh, insurance agency located in St. Petersburg, Florida. Yeah, so you get that personalized service. Capratech.com. I thought they left. They're back. They're back, baby. Thank God. I want to check in on Capratech to see who I should put some money on. Capratech.com. Amazing. They use uh, machine learning AI to simulate game results for you and give you the best betting advice possible, all 100% free. That is what you should know. There's no risk for you. Just sign up. Go to capratech.com or download the app, Capratech app in the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Uh, it's the only sports betting advice that I use. It's the only sports betting advice that you should use. Rebels Raider. It's on my back every weekend. Great bags for hiking, trail running, training, going to the airport, outside activities, high-end tactical backpacks, pouches, and packs for everyday carry. They're really good. 100% real deal tactical gear. Uh, Rebels-Raiders.com. Go peruse the site. Thinkingman.substack.com. They just wrote an article on Shane Gillis that I'm about to read. I'm interested in it. So go to thinkingman.substack.com, at thinkingman, or search the link, thinkingman.substack.com. It's free, or you can join and subscribe for five bucks. 